Okay, boy. Here it goes. First cut you start out with is right behind the head. So you cut straight down until you get through all the meat. And you cut all the way through until you hit the backbone. Then you flip it around because you want the knife. I mean, they tell you never to put the knife coming towards you, but in this case, this is how I do it. I'll put the knife in here and I ride the backbone. So I first make a small incision to get all the scales out of my way. Go all the way to the tail. Once I get to the adipose fin, I usually go all the way through. And then I got my knife blade coming out. I kind of put some downward pressure so I'm feeling those uh, the bones, the uh, spine there. And then I cut through so I've got this flat. Then I go back up to the head and I go in a little bit further. I'm going to probably put my knife in, let's say, two inches. And I'm feeling for the first row of bones, which is going to be your, uh, your Y bones, which we're going to take out later. So I go in all the way through, got my knife at a downward angle, feeling for those bones, riding all, them all, all the way down. So now I can open it up. And I'm going to cut through the Y bones. So I got some more pressure on the knife. I'm cutting through all the Y bones and still riding all the bones all the way down. I cut away our bones here. And just keep doing that until I start to ride up on the belly. Once you ride up on the belly, you're going to start to feel it's going to get a little softer. So you're going to take the knife and ride the bone with as long a stroke as you can possibly do. Because the longer the stroke, the less cut lines you have in it. So once you get to this stage, you've got this right at the bottom of the belly. You can see kind of that line there. You'll start to cut through the fillet across the belly, just over top of the, the bottom fins and cut all the way through. So there's your fillet. Well, the first thing I do with the fillet is I start to trim off all of the fatty meat. Trim that off, that's no good for nothing. Belly meat, I'll trim that off too. Anything that's dark, you want the whitest meat possible. I'll give it a little scrape to take off any blood that might be remaining on it, but otherwise if you bled the fish, it'll come out nice and clean. Now the next thing I do is I feel for that row of Y bones that are right there. Now I don't know if they're actually called Y bones, but they're bones that are sticking up. I missed one bone right there. And I cut on the top side of it first, right alongside that layer of bones, all the way down. And now these bones kind of go off towards the top of the, the back. So you feel where the end of them are. And you kind of curve your knife, feeling for the bones, but going more or less towards the top of the back. Keep doing that until you get down to the skin. Now you're going to repeat that on the other side, again, moving towards the layer of bones. And you can see there, they'll actually start to protrude a little bit as you put some pressure on the flesh beside the bone. And you'll do that all the way towards the bone. And keep going in. Long strokes are the key. All the way towards the bone. And then what I'm doing is I'm kind of like shoveling the knife underneath, getting towards the skin and then just pulling it free. And it pulls it in a nice one long zipper. Similar to the way that you would do a walleye. But the meat on this isn't as firm as a walleye, so you'll have to give it a little help with the knife. Okay. Now, put it back facing away from you. I start at the tail, I'm not sure if you can see that, but I start at the tail, I dig into the meat a little bit, and I start to cut. 
Now the important part about this is, is it's nice to have a really long knife and to get as close to the edge of the board as possible because it'll keep your knife down near the straight along the board. Now if I had a longer blade, it would make this job a little bit easier. And I keep going through the, the fish with the blade as parallel to the board as possible. Okay, so now I've got my fillet. Okay, last step. You take the fillet and you put the blade on the back of the fillet and you follow the curve of it to take off the bloodline or the mud line, whatever you want to call it. So you're putting that blade between the meat and that bloodline. And you do that all the way up. And once you get towards the center of the fish, the bloodline kind of comes down towards the center of the fish itself. So you kind of follow that line and cut right down towards the center of the fish or that uh, center line. So once you've got it all on one side done, I flip the fillet over again. I really like working on the edge of the board here because it gives me the ability to cut down to where I need to. So now you're doing the same thing on the other side of the board, or on the other side of the fish, I should say, and you're cutting towards that center line. This removes that fishy taste that you would get with a white fish. So once you have it here, what you can do is you can kind of just cut, put your knife in between it and cut down. And take off that whole bloodline. There you have it boys, nice clean fillet. Perfectly clean, nice and white, no blood, no nothing.